Good afternoon and welcome everyone. It's Melissa here from the Ontario Association of Resident Councils team. Thank you so much for taking the time to participate in today's live webinar. We'll be spending the next hour or so with our special guests from the Ontario Centers for Learning, Research and Innovation in Long-Term Care to introduce and to dig into some resources that have been designed to support diversity and inclusion in your homes, including program planning. Our speakers today are Holly Hebner, Project Coordinator from the Ontario CLRI, hosted at the Schlegel University Waterloo Research Institute for Aging, and Sarah Berube, Student Research Assistant with the Ontario CLRI, hosted at the Briere Research Institute. And you can see their smiling faces on screen just for the introductory part of the session. Before we get started, you'll notice that we've muted your microphones in an effort to eliminate background, background noise and distractions for our special guests. We have protected time for a question and answer period at the end of today's webinar, at which time we'll invite you to type your questions or comments into the question box. The slide materials for the session today are also available to you on the materials section of the toolbar. Now, without further delay, I'd like to give a warm welcome to Holly and Sarah. Thank you so much for being here and over to you. All right, so we're just gonna turn our webcams off for this, uh, for our uh, speaking part of the presentation and then we'll turn them back on during the question portion, okay? All right, so thank you for that introduction, Melissa, and uh, thank you everyone for joining us this afternoon. Today you'll be learning about the resources we have that can help you create inclusive long-term care communities, and you are the first to hear about our new printable calendar resources that are now available on our website. We'll be showing those to you today and talking about how they can be used in your homes. So we begin this presentation by acknowledging the land on which we are presenting from. While we are gathered virtually, the Ontario CLRI sites where we are presenting from reside in two locations. Briere is situated on the traditional unceded territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabe Nation, and the Research Institute for Aging is situated on the Haldeman Tract, land that was granted to the Haudenosaunee of the Six Nations of the Grand River, and are within the territory of the neutral Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples. You may live and work in different territories, so we encourage you to reflect on the land on which you are located and to consider your relationship to the people who are the traditional keepers of this land. Regardless of where you live, today, these places remind us that our great standard of living is directly related to the resources and friendship of the Indigenous peoples. Participating in a land acknowledgement is a way to recognize the enduring presence and resilience of the Indigenous peoples across Canada. For anyone who hasn't heard of the Ontario Centres for Learning, Research and Innovation in Long-Term Care, it is a program funded by the Government of Ontario and hosted at three different sites, Baycrest Health Sciences, Briere, and the Schlegel University of Waterloo Research Institute for Aging. The program aims to strengthen quality of life and care for residents across the province and enhance the health and well-being of people who live and work in long-term care. We do this by providing education and training, sharing research and innovations, and identifying and developing resources for long-term care homes. We partner with the long-term care sector to provide solutions to priority issues, including an aging population, increasing care complexity, and workforce excellence. Our work on supporting diversity and inclusion in long-term care is jointly between Briere and the RIA. For the past several years, we have been working with long-term care homes, our sector partner organizations, residents and researchers to co-develop tools that can support long-term care homes in their journey towards becoming more inclusive. These resources are tailored to the long-term care context and developed with the knowledge that experiences are in are influenced by individual circumstances, including language, ability, race, ethnicity, religion, spirituality, gender identity, gender expression, sexual orientation, and socioeconomic status. This work supports residents as well as team member diversity. Our, our, 
Our Embracing Diversity Toolkit was released in June of 2020. It includes interactive resources with print and online components. The toolkit is organized into seven impact areas. These span all aspects of operations from human resources to policy planning to resident and family engagement. It provides homes with practical steps to nurture affirming communities, including an organizational assessment and planning tool that can be utilized to assess areas of strength, areas for improvement, and measure progress over time. We also highlight promising practices featuring stories from Ontario long-term care homes. We've also developed a series of posters to complement the toolkit. The What Would You Do poster series is a series of 14 posters, each one depicting situations that those working in long-term care have witnessed or experienced themselves. For example, overhearing a colleague making a racist comment. These situations are intentionally brief vignettes that often leave you with more questions than answers. The idea is to explore your initial gut reaction to the situation and explore the questions and feelings you might have. We've created a facilitation guide to support this interactive, interactive activity as well. And the posters are intended to encourage and support conversation and learning. Our welcome poster and golden rule poster are posters that can be hung in common areas. The welcome poster has the word welcome in the 40 most commonly spoken languages in Ontario. Many homes have placed this poster in their entryway, for example. The Golden Rule poster lists the key guiding principles for more than a dozen religious, spiritual, and faith-based practices. We aim to bring awareness to sacred writings from these faiths and encourage inclusion by illustrating the interconnectedness between the core teachings. It can be hung in, in a multi-faith space to help people of various faiths and spiritual practices feel welcome, and also to bring, bring awareness to the various perspectives. This poster is inspired and developed with the permission of Paul McKenna and the Scarborough Missions. All of these resources are available in English and French, and hard copies can be requested and sent to any long-term care home that's interested. I'll share how to do that at the end of the presentation. I'm going to turn it over to Sarah now, who will re review our digital equity, diversity, and inclusion calendar with you. Thank you, Holly. So the digital equity, diversity, and inclusion calendar is a web-based calendar that highlights dates with special meaning for the diverse populations that live, work, and visit long-term care homes. The calendar includes religious and spiritual days, cultural celebrations, awareness, and health promotion days. We are now going to take a look at the digital calendar together and go through some of the key features. So when you first get onto the web page, you will notice that there is a video on how to use the diversity calendar. This video offers a great introduction of some of the key features that we will be going over briefly now. Then when we scroll down, we get to the calendar content. So you are able to control the time frame by clicking on dates. For example, we can select December 1st, 2021 to December 31st, 2021, and then hit apply to see all of the events that happen in that time period. You can also sort by event type if you're interested in only checking out the events of a specific category. All spiritual and religious days are colored in green, all cultural celebrations are colored in gray, and all awareness and health promotion days are colored in orange. If you find a particular day that you're interested in learning a bit more about, all you need to do is click into that event. When you hit show more, you will be able to see a short description for that event. And to learn even more, click the for more information link, which will take you to a site about that particular event. You can easily add events to your calendar as well when you hit the add to calendar function and you have a selection of a few different calendars based on the version you prefer. Finally, there are some share options if you are interested in sharing events with your family, friends or community. You can copy a link to this event directly or send an invite via email. We're now going to take a brief pause for a poll.
All right, so now that we've shared some of our diversity resources with you, we'd like to do a quick poll to see how many of you may have used these resources or have seen them in your long-term care home. You can select all that apply. All right, we're seeing some responses come in. Perhaps your team has used our toolkit and has gone through the organizational assessment, or maybe you've seen our welcome or golden rule posters hanging in your home. This is wonderful. Lots of people have used our digital calendar that we just shared, which is great. More people have used our toolkit. A few people have used our welcome poster and our golden rule poster and even our what would you do poster series. This is fantastic. Thank you for sharing. For those who have used our resources, we'd love to hear how you've done so. Um, so maybe take a few minutes and in the uh, in the chat box, uh, let us know where you've seen our posters or if you've used our activity, how it went. We'd love to we'd love to read about those afterwards and maybe connect with you. I'm going to turn it back over to Sarah now, who will introduce you to our newly released printable calendars, which I assume is why you're all here joining us today. Perfect. So the digital equity, diversity and inclusion calendar was launched about a year ago now. And since then, we have received some great feedback from the OARC. From this feedback that we've received so far, our team began to work on a printable version. But early on into this process, we realized that our main audience for this format would broadly be residents, long term care educators and recreation team members. We wanted to make sure that we met the needs of these audiences. So we decided to create two different formats for the principal calendar. So the first format that we're going to take a look at is called the bulletin board equity, diversity and inclusion calendar and it is intended to most generally meet the needs of residents. So we are first going to take a look at the format for April 2022. This version has larger text to make it a little more accessible. It also includes images to make it more visually appealing to hang up in one's room or on bulletin boards in common spaces. For this version, we provided descriptions for each of the day long events in the hopes of raising some more awareness and understanding about the purpose of those days. There were a few factors that contributed to our decision to not include descriptions for the week and month long events, such as the space constraint, but we hope that anyone interested in learning more about these events will go to the digital version of the calendar. We have included a link at the bottom of each page so the digital calendar can be easily searched. Finally, this version will be able to be printed by month or all at once, depending on your preference. Now we are going to take a look at the, sent the second printable version of the calendar that was created, which is called the Equity, Diversity and Inclusion Planning Calendar. This version was created with the needs of the recreation team and long-term care educators in mind. We understand that planning is a huge part of their role, and so we wanted to create a resource that would allow for the team to see at a glance what events are occurring to support the yearly planning process. So we have changed the format for this version of the calendar to include descriptions for all day long, week long and month long events. And the digital copy of this version will have the title of each day linked to an event. And the digital copy of this version will have the title of each day linked to a source with more information when planning. The links can be used to ensure that the day is being honored in a respectful and appropriate way. This version also includes a box to indicate if the event falls into the category of religious or spiritual, which are colored in green, cultural celebrations, which are colored in gray, or awareness and health promotion days, which are colored in orange. The look of this categorization mirrors the organization of the digital equity, diversity and inclusion calendar, again, in the hopes of providing an at a glance understanding of the purpose of each event. 
And finally, at the bottom of each of the pages, we have noted that the acronym TBA is to indicate events that are to be announced. Not every event that we have listed has released their 2022 dates, but we wanted to make sure that they were still included. We encourage users to go to the digital version of the calendar to check when those 2022 dates are released. We hope that by honoring a more diverse set of days of significance, long-term care homes can create a more understanding and welcoming space between residents and team members. This version will be accessible to download all at once, but users can print, use printing functions to select specific page ranges if desired. And both versions of these calendars were designed so that they look great whether they are printed in color or grayscale, so as to not impact the quality of these resources. Overall, these calendars are meant to be a resource and learning tool to help long-term care homes on their journey of creating a more inclusive space for both residents and team members. So our digital equity, diversity and inclusion calendar has been very well received and is currently one of our most visited resources. The following quotes on the slides are a few examples of all of the great ways our team has or the teams have found that the calendar helps with their work. Based on the great feedback from the digital calendar, we are extremely excited for the launch of our new printable versions. So now I'm going to pass it back over to Holly for another quick poll before she walks us through some of the ways in which these calendars might be utilized. All right, so I'm curious, how many of you joining us today have started planning for 2022 um, for your long-term care home communities. All right, I see the responses coming in. Lots of you are, have already begun planning for 2022, which is great. Some aren't sure and that's okay. This is what these resources are hopefully going to help you with. And a small amount have said no, which again, perfect, because we're launching these two new resources to help you with your planning next year. All right. So these calendars are intended to support learning and education about the days that may be meaningful to those in your long-term care home community. By being able to see what is coming up three, even six months ahead, we hope our calendars will help shift towards being a more inclusive care home by implementing activities, education, and events in a respectful way. It's important to be mindful of the approach when implementing activities or honoring these events, particularly if you're not a member or a part of that culture or group, to ensure that it's done respectfully. One way to do that is to learn all that you can about the culture and the event you are honoring. It's important to avoid doing things in a performative way, meaning only a symbolic effort is made, but no further action is taken to be inclusive. This can cause a lot of harm to those who may identify with a certain group. So by looking ahead, we hope our calendars will give team members time to learn more and read about the significance of these dates, enabling different departments, residents, family members, and volunteers to contribute to planning is a great way to make people feel included and also enhance the, uh, the culture of your home. So seeing that February is coming up and this all ha also happens to be Black History Month or that the month of May is full of different observances like Jewish Heritage Month, Asian Heritage Month, and even Pride Month, what are some ways to recognize these events? Inviting guest speakers from the community, um, such as places of worship or cultural centers or even health centers, is a great way to help residents and team members learn from experts and create some relationships. Participating in community events when possible is also a great way to forge connections. Showing film, art, or literature feature featuring or created by diverse artists is a great way to create exposure and awareness. Inviting friends and family members to share their culture and customs within your long-term care community. Creating space for residents to share their background ex and experiences with others. And even simply acknowledging these observances so residents and team members feel seen. After an event or activity is planned, it's also a great idea to evaluate how it went. 
What were the reactions from the participants? Was anyone included or was everyone included and positively impacted? Did everyone feel safe? What are some opportunities for next time? Giving, par uh, giving participa par participants excuse me, an opportunity to pr provide feedback anonymous anonymously through a survey or a form is a great way to get honest reactions in a safe and inclusive way. You may discover from that feedback that having some cultural sensitivity training would be beneficial to your long-term care home to ensure a safe and inclusive space. It truly is a journey. Some things can take a lot of time and careful planning. So we're, we hope that you're excited to use these calendars to learn more about all the ways that the, the events can uh, take place in a respectful way 365 days a year. And speaking of events, the Ontario CLRI and its Supporting Diversity and Inclusion Committee invites you to join our virtual forum, Allied for Inclusivity in Long-Term Care, a forum to build connections. This half-day event will be held on Wednesday, February 9th, 2022. As we focus on action moving forward post-pandemic, our forum aims to build collaborative conversations towards inclusive, equitable, and affirming care services, work environments in the long-term care community. Attendees will get a chance to network and learn about initiatives other have, others have implemented in their long-term care communities and take home practical solutions for increasing the inclusivity of their organization. Some event highlights, we will have opening and closing keynote presentations from experts in the field of equity, diversity, and inclusion in health. We'll have presentations from Ontario long-term care homes sharing equity, diversity, and inclusion initiatives that they've implemented in their home. We'll also have presentations from Canadian researchers that are focusing on equity, diversity, and inclusion relevant in the long-term care sector. And we'll also have breakout rooms with the opportunity to deep dive into specific topic areas and network with other attendees. And registration is open right, right now and you'll see the link there on the screen. So we hope to see you with us in February. To learn more about what the CLRI has to offer, you can connect with us through any of the ways on the screen here. And um, as I mentioned earlier in the presentation, you can always send us an email if there's something you're specifically looking for. If you'd like to request hard copies of our toolkit or posters, please send an email with your request. And um, if you'd like hard copies of our printed calendars, we're happy to get those to you. But since this is a brand new resource just launched today, um, they haven't been sent off to the printers just yet, um, but we'll make sure to get that to you as soon as possible. But uh, the email is right here, info, at clri-ltc.ca and uh, our, our team will make sure that uh, we get those requests to you and we'll connect with you to make sure you have everything you need. Thanks everyone for your time this afternoon and um, it's time for questions. Thanks so much, Sarah and Holly. That was some great information, uh, some a and a great review of some of the existing resources in addition to your your, your new printable tool. Um, I just wanted to, to mention, I know we have a number of resident leaders who are taking part in our session today. And resident councils and family councils, you are very important partners um, in your homes who can help be, um, can help bring these um, inclusive opportunities forward. It could, it could be as simple as as putting this on your agenda for your next meeting um, and, and look to see how uh, you can work together with your programs department and your whole home to, to make 2022 a year where you're, you're maybe trying some new, some new things and creating more inclusive communities. So we yeah. do have a nice, a nice compliment in our uh, question box here from Kelly. Thank you. I just want to say this was amazing. So thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, well, that's the great thing about a calendar. Anyone can use it and find creative ways to implement what's featured on, on our calendars. And it, you know, it doesn't have to be just for educators and recreation team members. While they are a huge part of the planning process in long-term care communities, um, even on an individual level, if you're a resident who's printed off our, our nice um, bulletin board calendars, you know, even knowing something about your neighbor and seeing that 
a day might be coming up that's uh, relevant to them, it's a great way for you to connect with them on something and and learn more about other people that you might be living next to and um, even even the team members that you interact with on a daily basis. Now, I know we had a positive response when we were kind of tapping in to, to see uh, everyone's familiarity with some of the existing C Ontario CLRI resources. We would love to hear, for those who have been successfully implementing these resources, how are they working and, and um, what has been the response from, from residents and other uh, people at your home? So feel free to, to share your experiences in the, in the chat box if you'd like or uh, as Holly invited you to do so, um, sending in some of your uh, success stories uh, via email. Yeah, we would absolutely love to hear um, how, how our resources have impacted your long-term care communities. And um, you know, even if you're having some challenges and you wanna troubleshoot how to, how to work through something, our supporting diversity and inclusion team is absolutely, absolutely happy to, to talk through those things with you. Um, because it's it's not easy, um, but there's lots of support and resources out there, and we are happy to uh, to bridge the gap there and um, and see if we can come up with some solutions together. And I think Holly mentioned this earlier. A lot of these resources came to be because of feedback and identifying that there were some needs. Um, so. We are always looking to kind of refine and, and uh, to update existing resources and to explore possibilities for, for new ones in the future. So your feedback is really invaluable as, as those who are implementing and, and using them kind of in the homes. Yes, definitely. We're, we are so grateful to OARC and Family Councils Ontario for all the feedback they've given us on our resources. And um, you know we're always we're always looking to connect with long-term care homes um, to hear your successes, but also hear your challenges if you need to. So I think our chat rooms have been on the quiet side today, which perhaps your everyone is deep in thought, thinking about how how you might creatively implement some of these new ideas in the new year. Uh, this session has been recorded today, so perhaps uh, you might consider showing um, a segment of this uh, recording at a future resident council meeting or at a program planning meeting um, with uh, your leadership teams. There's, the possibilities are really endless. Um, so this uh, recording will be circulated to everyone who registered for today's session. And I believe it'll also be housed on both the Ontario CLRI website and the OARC website where we we um, keep our archived webinars. Um, yes, absolutely. Thanks for connecting with us today and for tuning in. And um, just a reminder, if you'd like hard copies of any of the resources that we talked about today, I'm happy to get those to you. Just send an email to info at clri-ltc.ca and um, I'll respond um, and we'll get that sorted and organized for you. And um, our printable calendars, they are print resources that you are welcome to print on your own. And they are live on our website. And you'll get the, um, if you've downloaded our slides available in the handouts box, um, all the links to the resources that we've shared today are on our slides. So feel free to, uh, to check out the web pages and then connect with us afterwards if you need to. Holly, we, Holly and Sarah, we did have a question come through from Maria. Oh, great. Uh, about, um, is there a series of presentations or, or potential guest speakers that are available to be used for residents and staff awareness days and education? Um, so I'm just wondering, maybe like asking if there's some kind of a centralized portal or a list of, of resources. We do have a um, kind of a repository of resources on our on the CLRI website. I believe it's CLRI-LTC.ca/diversity. Um, it will connect you with all of the resources that we've uploaded so far. But I'm happy to uh, again, if you want to send an email 
uh, to the info at email and um, I can connect with you one on one and we can chat through what your presentation needs might be and uh, ways that the CLRI supporting diversity and inclusion team can support that. Great question, Maria. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, a big thank you to our special guests, Sarah and Holly from the Ontario CLRI. It's always such a pleasure to collaborate with you and to share some of your amazing uh, tools and resources with our, um, our residents and supportive uh, long-term care team members and families in our audience. So we look forward to keeping in touch, wishing everyone a lovely afternoon, and thank you again for being here today. Thank you, everyone. Yes, thank you.